conditional probability. Let's do example two. So the probability card is queen and heart. There's one queen of hearts in the pack, says one out of 52. Then the probability is a heart, and there are 13 of them, so it's 13 out of 52. Then we use our formula the probability is a queen given heart. So we have the probability of queen and heart divided by probability as a heart. So we have 1 over 52. Then we divide by 13 over 52. So it's 1 out of 52 times 52 over 13. So we get the answer 1 out of 13. Now we try to understand the situation. Here are the pack of 52 cards. Once we are given something, then we in a subset situation. This is the whole set. Then we were given is a heart. So then we are only considering this set. So we are working on the probability getting a queen from this set. So there is 1 out of 13. Then we look at the difference, working out the probability of queen given heart was 1 out of these 13. Just learn this concept, if it was the other way around, heart given it was a queen then we are only talking about this subset here. Then we one out of these four. Let's do example three. Similar situation. So the probability is a club and jack is one club and which is jack so is one out of 52 then the probability of a jack so there are four out of 52 then we work with the probability club given is jack so 1, so this is club and jack divided by probability of jack. So this is top of it is 1 out of 52 divided by 4 out of 52 and we will get the answer to be 1 foot. Okay, in this question, we were given this set. So then there's one club out of four. Let's do example four. First, we need to work out 
the probability A and B, A intersection B, because we know A given B, so we can write first the probability of B then times by the probability of A given B so this is equal to 0 0.6 times 0 0.3 so this is 0 0.18 so this is also equal to the probability of B intersection A is the same thing. Now we can answer these questions. Part 1 Probability of P given A, the probability of B and A together. Divided by the probability of A. And we know the top bit we just worked out 0.18 and A is 0.3. So we can write 18 out of 30 or divide top and bottom by 6, we get 3 out of 5. We'll call it 0.6. Part 2, probability of not A with intersection with not B. Now we need to know this 1 minus probability A union B. Then A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus probability of A and B. So this is given in the question 0 0.3. This is 0 0.6. This is right down 0 0.1. So eight. So therefore, this answer is 0 0.72. So now we can write the probability of not A intersection with not B. 1 minus 0 0.72, which is 0 0.28. Part 3, probability not A intersection with B so this is basically the probability of B but we exclude the intersection of A and B so that's 0 0.6 minus 0 0.18 so we get the answer to be 0.42. Now this question is very simple. If we use a Venn diagram, here's our square. Then we draw a circle blue for A then we draw green one for B and we already worked out A intersection B was 0 0.18 to see the important bit once you know the middle bit, then it's easy to find the others. 
the total B is node point six. So this part then is node point four two. The total A is node point three. So this remaining it is node point one two. And these three sections add up to 0.72, so therefore this is the remainder from 1 is 0.28. Then we can answer all of those questions. Part 1 was B given A. So this was 0.18, the whole A, that's what's given. So that's what we got 0.6. The other ones was, question was not B, not A intersection. You just know from the diagram it's 0.28. Third one was intersection not A but B, and this is where we worked out 0.42.